Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And today I'm here to share a very, very special card. This card was created by my friend Karen Duke. It is absolutely stunning, stunning, and surprisingly easy to make. Karen is a really good friend of mine from Canada, and every year we participate in a swap together. Every year Karen would make a Christmas card, and I loved it so much that I would actually <laughs> taste her swap cards for my personal Christmas cards because I loved them that much. And you can see why her designs are so beautiful with this Dragonfly Dreams card. It uses a spotlight scoring technique, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's get started. Here's the Dragonfly Dreams card up close. It is absolutely stunning. Believe it or not, this technique is really easy to do. The card uses the Dragonfly Dream stamp set and the detailed Dragonfly dies bundle. And if you purchase this in my online store, you save 10%. Let's start with our stamping. We're we'll using some gold foil cardstock here. And before you stamp on it, we're going to take the embossing buddy and just pet it over the top. This is going to keep the static down when we do our embossing. Got the Versamark watermarking ink pad. And the words I chose here are thanks for the smile and everything else. And we're gonna stamp that right in the center of our gold foil section. Now just a note, when Karen made her card, she had the stitched framelits from Stampin' Up. I don't have these <laughs> and it really does add to the card. I'm just gonna do a rectangle and I'll have the measurements for that on mine, but um, the framelits actually do this little stitching and they are beautiful. I'll have the ordering information on these framelits on the free PDF as well. It's beautiful either way, but the framelits definitely add to it. I've got some gold emboss powder and just a piece of scrap paper here. Pour the embossing powder right over the top. Flick it real good. And it should look like this before we heat it. Now I've got the Stampin' Up! heat tool. We'll heat this up. There it goes. See it? It is just awesome. As it melts, it actually looks like a, a metal tag. It's so cool. And if you have any leftover residual from the um, Stampin' Buddy, you can just take a Kleenex or paper towel or napkin and just buff that out. And then we'll just put that aside for a sec. And next we're going to cut out our dragonflies. So you want the dragonfly outline and the medium-sized detailed dragonfly. All of these supplies and measurements are available on my blog on the free PDF. They are going to layer together like this perfect plum, gold foil, and um, elegant eggplant for our card base. I'm going to take this panel of the gold foil that will be used in the center and I'm going to cut the solid piece of the dragonfly right out of the middle. You won't see that cut out because you're only going to see the edges of the gold foil here, but it's a great way to conserve cardstock. And I also have a tip for our detail dragonfly. We are going to cut that out of shimmery gold glimmer paper and we're going to cut it upside down. Okay, I've got the Big Shot die cut machine, cutting platform, thin die adapter, precision base plate, and then our gold glimmer paper with the detail dragonfly on it and the gold foil with the dragonfly outline. And just remember you want that to be really in the center so the cuts aren't gonna show when we layer it on the card. One cutting pad on top and crank it through. And we can just pop this right out of our gold foil. Now our detailed dragonfly, we're gonna use the dye brush to get the, the glimmer of paper out of the dye, quick and easy. And this here is the dye brush. It comes with the foam mat and the dye brush. And I have put it in a, a half case for the wood mount stamps the smaller stamps. These are actually available, these cases in my online store. It's kind of nice because it stores everything together. I'll put that information on my blog post as well. So I'm just going to take the die brush and run it over the top of the dragonfly so this pops out all the tiny little confetti pieces. And literally it just pops right out like butter. And there is our glimmery detailed dragonfly. Okay, next up for this very cool background technique I know you guys are dying to see. Surprisingly easy. We are gonna want the Stampin' Up! Simply Scored tool for this. If you were lucky enough to get a diagonal plate for that, you're gonna to wanna to use it. I wasn't, I don't have one, so I'm gonna show you how to do it without that. You're gonna take the perfect plum panel, and again, the measurements are on the PDF on my blog, and you're going to line it up diagonally so the top two corners 
are at two and three quarters and two and three quarters on either side. So that's about the middle for this. And then you're going to take the little stylus that comes with it and we're going to score in three quarters of an inch increments all the way down the card. So that's uh, three quarters and then one and a half and then two and a quarter, three inches, and then continue with three quarters of an inch increments all the way down the panel. And then we're going to turn the cardstock the opposite direction on the diagonal and line it up at about three and a half and three and a half inches and do the exact same thing, three quarters of an inch score all the way down. And then when we're done, we have this scored panel and we're just going to fold in each one of these lines and then do the same on the diagonal. And here's where the magic comes in, taking a perfect plum ink pad, which is the same color cardstock that we're using here, and start on the top fold, either end doesn't matter, and just sponge. And that, my friends, is how Karen created this awesome background which she attributes to Rachel Tessman, who attributes to her downline, Cheryl Ann. So thank you to Rachel and Cheryl Ann also for this awesome technique. And I should note, in case you didn't catch this, this is the raised side of the embossing. There's a, a deboss side and an emboss side. You wanna use the emboss side. And then do the same thing going this direction. And when you're all done, here is the effect that you have. Super, super cool. And surprisingly easy, right? Didn't expect it to be quite that easy. And next up, we just have a little bit of assembly. Our card base pieces will be attached with some snail adhesive. Got our gold foil with our secret dragonfly cut out of the middle and then some snail on the back of our scored panel. And that will layer on top. And then I just took a little bit of snail and put it on the back of the dragonfly. You could use the um, fine tip glue pen would be perfect for this too. I'm just lazy. And if you do use the snail and you see that it's showing through, just take your paper piercer and poke it in a couple of places and, and that will just kind of pop it. And then this lines up on the gold solid body. So it, this is just so striking. And a little bit of snail to attach that to the card. And then some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our word panel. And that goes in the lower right corner. Lastly, and lastly, we have some gold dazzling details. And we'll just take that and dab it at each intersection that shows. Anything that's hidden underneath the words or the dragonfly, you don't need it. You're not going to see it. And then the dazzling details will just need a couple of minutes to dry. So you can just set it aside while those dry. That's why I saved this for last. Got it all ready to go and then just give it a minute to dry and it's all done. So here's the two completed versions of the card. Which, which one do you think you like better? I like Karen's the best. I love the stitched framelit look with the, the stitching. I think it just is striking. I do like them both. If you don't have those framelits, it does look good without it, so you can see. <laughs> so I'm also looking at the two of these and I used Perfect Plum on the background of mine. I think Karen actually used the um, Elegant Eggplant to sponge hers to make it a little bit more to give it a little bit more of a contrast. So thanks again to Karen Duke for this awesome idea. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget there's a free PDF on my blog. Thanks for joining me today.